Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to make this grass scene in Cinema 4D. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, you begin with a plane. Oh, excuse me. Um, a plane. And make it 4000 by 4000. And 200 by 200 segments. Like this. Zoom it out. And make the plane digital by clicking on plane and then hit hitting C on your keyboard. Oh, now it's edible. <clears throat> and um, click on this icon over here and go to tools, uh, to mesh, excuse me, transform tools and magnet. Magnet, you take radius of 1000. Yeah, zoom it out. Um, maybe 1500 like this and you make mid kind of a hill little mount this um, and then you give it a lower radius like um, 500 and add some details to it Like this, and then maybe raise 150 to add some more small detail. Or maybe first going to search a good spot for our camera. So we only have to add those details in our final render. Like this and your camera. So you only have to add the details over here. Okay, mm. yeah. like this. Um, maybe, yeah, it's okay. Um, then you click on the plane and go to simulate hair object at hair. Okay. And for this hair material, I have my own hair saved over here. So you just can um, tap over the uh, settings. Um, grass, grass, grass. Yeah, here. And I'm going to delete this grass material and drag my own on it. Uh, I'll show my material. So for color, you start here with a dark brown in the mid, a dark green, and at the top, a kind of yellow green. Okay, and specular, you take the strength to put down and crank up the sharpness to 81. Um, and 
strength at 30, 30 80% percent yeah. and then thickness, uh, thickness uh, root 0.8 centimeter and the dip as small as you can so here it's 0.01 and variation 0.5 centimeters in length take 100 percent and variation 90 percent and yeah, for the amount it's 99 percent <clears throat> in the scale I took 84 percent and a variation of 29 amount of um, 71 percent so for the kink this so there um, is not uh, that straight but it's a bit uh, yeah kink uh, you take 25 kink, scale 50% in X, um, variation 10% and in the uh, R 50%. Okay, so next clump, clump is to have those, uh, yeah you see mm, they are clits together at some point. So, Um, so we take clump count 40, clump 40 and radius 500 centimeters, twist 50 degrees, variation 50%, uh, clump variation 50%, radius variation 50 centimeters and twist variation 54%. And then in bend, you just Take band and let's take the normal settings. Okay, but if we run it right now, it doesn't look like we want it to look. See, so for that you go to the hair material, and go to hairs, type in five hundred thousand, and I take ten seconds. Okay. Um, Maybe, oh, I've got um, wait, length um, wait a minute. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the render right now. It'll take a bit longer to render, but it still goes pretty fast. It takes about one minute to run. So um, you see, this is not what we want yet. But um, uh, I will zoom a bit in with my camera. So like this, and uh, then you click on the air, go to simulate, air tools, and take the brush. And I am going to change this hair a bit like this. Like there is a little bit of well, wind in the sand. So you just a little bit like this, not too much, or it won't look good anymore. Like this, it's okay. Um, and then you add a light to your scene, and I'm going to. Where is the light? Okay. 
like this. That will click the light and uh, make it kind of light blue because here it's uh, pretty dark. See, see? so <clears throat> take a light blue, um, a bright blue uh, light. Okay. Um, in the light, go to shadow and add a shadow maps soft. Um, and next, we're going to add a sky object to our scene. Sky. And for the sky, we will need a new material. And I go to Google looking for. A um, an image of a cloudy sky. So. Okay. So we need a pretty um, big image. Um, looking for a good one. one will look pretty good. Go to full size. Yeah, this one looks good. So, then you go to color, turn off spec color, go to texture, click here, and then you can take the image you downloaded from the internet. So, um, I like it now. And add this material to the sky. Drag it on the sky. And go in the viewpoint of your. Maybe. Drag the sky into the viewpoint of your camera. So, if you look in your camera, you can turn around the sky object till you get a yeah, nice image of it. Like this. Normally now oh uh, maybe go to render settings and effect and take ambient occlusion. And then I think the render should look pretty good. Just take a look at the final run. Normally it should look pretty good. I will do the cross in another tutorial. So. takes a bit longer to render. Okay, um, I think this looks pretty good, but the last thing you want to do is create a new material. Double click it, go to texture, and take noise, double click noise, and then you change one to very dark brown, and the other one to not a pretty dark brown, but a bit less dark. So, like this. And turn off specular and drag it on the plane so you don't see that gray material um, that cinema gives you as standard so um, yeah 
Now this will look good. This final render. I do the cross and not tutorial. And I would like if you could give me some feedback. Thank you. Bye.